Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the final episode of season two of <laughs> Goblin Slayer. So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Freaking best. Oh my god. Oh shit. Too tight on my arm. <sighs> okay, it's okay. I have a feeling he's going to wake back up. Um... Hell, y'all gonna kill that thing. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and say this now. I'm not making this video over 30 minutes. The last two videos I just did were over 30 minutes. I can't do the third one over 30 minutes, but I think you, you well, uh, I can't speak. Because it is the last episode, I kind of need to because there is a lot to talk about this. But we'll talk about that in the end because I feel like there's a lot I need to talk about with this season. At the same time, I feel like I don't need to, but we'll see. Nice.
What, is that going to be able to hold, though? Do we even have any more? What do you do? No, why is it doing that? That's so not. God, they're not gonna survive this! Okay, close it. Oh God, no.
Oh. Good job, baby. Mm hmm, it's okay. You've grown so much. Right. Oh, sweet freedom, thank God. What the hell? Oh my fucking God. Why? There's no end! Right. Of course. You know, for a moment, I was about to say, all I see is nothing but a woman, women, but I ain't mad at a woman army. And then I heard some guys are like, okay, there we go.
Oh, damn. We probably not even gonna see it in his face either. See what I just say? He's a blonde hair guy. That's all we're going to see him. Okay. That's the season three something. I don't know. It takes time. Oh, baby.
Okay. Final thoughts on this season. I mean, this season was good for several different things. I do love the fact is a character, someone, a character that was related to someone in season one got to have a couple of moments in this. Because initially what I kind of thought was it would have continued it right wherever the heck season one ended. But because it's been such a long time um, since I had watched season one, um, I really didn't remember where we were. And I kind of wish I did rewatch season one all over again, just to remember to see how season one ended. So I could be like, oh, okay. But because of the fact is like, because I did love the shit out of the show, which I still do. This was still an amazing show. Um, but yeah, having a character from who was related to someone from season one was very interesting. And to see, you know, our lovely priestess, like, deal with that on a weekly basis for like the first couple of weeks was very interesting because of the fact is it made me wonder would she ever tell her um the brother that oh hey I was the one who was there when your family member died but I think the best thing was was to not tell him because of the fact is it would have he would have looked at her in a different way, especially even after that he got to know her and everything. So that's a good thing, in my opinion, on that. I will say there was nothing really bad, truly, on that. I would have liked to see more about him. He was only really focused on for, like, three or four episodes, and then him and the other girl just go off on their own journey. And then we kind of go back into the main story. Um, but like side quests, that's what like really kind of, okay, no, th let me, I'm trying to say this another way. That's what it kind of really felt like with me with this season where it was like a couple of episodes. We had these side quest type episodes where it's like, yeah, we get focused on someone else, but you still want to go on to that main story, which there's nothing wrong with that. And I'm not saying that that's a bad thing or anything. I do love when shows do that, but at the same time, um, I still want to know more about the main story and such. That's why there's a lot of shows where it's like, here's the main story and then here's that filler. You got to think about like shonen anime and such or shonen manga when the anime or the shonen manga gets produced into an anime and you're working alongside at the same speed as the ma I mean, yeah, as the manga. And then you're starting to catch up to that manga. And then you're like, oh, okay, well, instead of us doing a week to week trying to catch up a little bit more, let's do a whole filler arc and then come back when, you know, the the manga is like light years ahead of us and then do it all over again. That is why some shows that I've seen are currently still like that and such. But, you know, one of their shows finally is on their final, final season. And that's all I care about right now. But really, I love the fact that this whole second season once again focused on priestess and her situation of wanting to go from one rank to another rank because everybody else is at a higher rank in her she got to officially do that so her goal was really finished but i do like the fact that she still had ptsd even though it's been i think for us about a good three or four years since the show had aired but for her it's still a year and even now, she still possibly has moments for that, but she's still grown as a person. And no matter what you're gonna, what she's going through, what even you as a person goes through, you still will have PTSD over that. And so I think if we got a potential third season with this, I think that would be her continuing on that road. Um, and eventually, maybe if she does see the kid again, um, eventually telling him about that. I, I mean, I still wouldn't want it, but I think it would be nice. Now, the other knight who just shows up in this episode, um, just like Goblin Slayer, he don't want to show his face. What is with these fine-ass men not showing their faces? I mean, you got fine-ass voices. His voice is nice, but she just didn't want to show his face. What is with this show doing that? That is weird. I mean, I ain't mad at it. It leaves a lot of, like, mystery and stuff, and I, and I like that, and, you know, because, yeah, I'm still like that with freaking Goblin Slayer, because shit. Yes! In a heartbeat, I still do them, because, duh. But, yeah, like, seriously, this was interesting. Even, like, the wedding for, you know, our lovely elf her sister and such like that, that was an interesting thing, uh, interesting thing to see. I really enjoyed that and stuff. Even them going on, like, a little vacation and shit like that. I hope we get to see more on that. Thank God they were able to save the princess 
But the fact is that the princess kidnapping was even something even greater with those two who were sitting there having that conversation. Um, I'm guessing what else that they were planning that is potentially going into a possible season three. But it, like I said, it does leave a lot of unanswered questions and leaves a lot of things up in the air if it was to get a potential third season. These, these are the things that I'm also looking at with like S.H.I.E.L.D. here in season three, potentially getting a season four, because to me, that left on a cliffhanger ending kind of, but not really. This leaves on an ending where it's like, it's satisfying and stuff, like even with everything we've been through, but you're still wanting more after it. And I do love shows that leave me wanting more, but sometimes, and I will say this because I have seen shows like this who have gone the route of seven or eight, 10 seasons and you're like you're kind of you should have ended at this time and so I think if it wasn't to get a third season I am okay with this ending I'm all right with it ending like this because he can't as he said he can't be like the girls he has to he's on this road of killing goblins we always know that regardless he will always be there killing goblins until the day he does die but still I would like to see more on these group of characters because they are very interesting these characters are the cutest family at well <laughs> the, the cutest in a weird way and the badass family that you know you just love watching every single week and so it is going to be weird not to have them you know on Fridays or any day when I do watch this and so I hope that like we do get something I mean even if it's not a season three even if it's like an hour-long OVA I damn well will watch that shit because I love the hell out of the show this show is just too freaking good. I love it so freaking much. Like, definitely. I would definitely honestly watch this again, too. Especially because something about this, even with, like, the change of, number one, studios. Um, I will definitely say, as much as I love both, I, I will still... If I had to choose between season one stuff and season two, I, I would say it's a little bit of both. I like both for two different reasons. But, um... I, I, what I'd like to say is this, the studio did with what they could work with, I work with. Um, and I really applaud them for that because season one, we had a CGI <laughs> Goblin Slayer, which was hell, hella crazy to see at moments. And there were times where like, it took me out in season one, but I still enjoyed it. Like I said, I, I mean, cause that CGI was good. I've seen bad CGI and the bad C CGI and some shows look like absolute dog shit. But I do love the fact is going into this, I was, I was very wondering how they were going to do this and stuff because I thought it was the same freaking studio. And when you first see him, you're like, oh, okay, no, he's hand drawn and even hand drawn. He still looks good. I felt like everybody looked good. Yeah, there was probably a couple of moments where it was like, eh, but it still looked good. I think characters looked really good and such so once again I would definitely applaud this studio for doing with what they had and with working with what they have it's really hard to take something that is super duper popular as hell and if a company isn't wanting to continue that maybe due to budgets and everything else and we leave this show up in the air where any one of these companies could grab it and a company grabs it and we all look like oh shit like, how the hell are they going to handle this? Plus all the other stuff that they have to handle. You know who I'm talking about with this shit. If you don't, it, the company starts with an M. Let's just say that. There you go. There's your big hint. And they do what they have to do with it. Even if they have to use CGI against something, they have to do with what they're working with. And honestly, even with the, the 2D in this, I still loved it. I still enjoyed it for what it was. The same thing with the other show from Mappa. Even though it was CGI and 2D and everything, even though it's always been 2D um, and such with, you know, non-CGI-esque at the beginning of the couple of seasons, it was still good for what it was. And so, like, once again, I really do applaud some of these studios really taking, you know, it, it's because it is nerve-wracking to take something that is very popular as fuck and be like, okay, we'll take it. Because not everybody can do that. So really, that's a 10 out of 10 for me. Because like I said, you do, you have to work with what you have.
guys, that is where I reacted to you towards the entirety of season two of Goblin Slayer. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all, you know, for the remainder of going into next week for the last couple of an animes for fall. The start of um, winter anime, which I should have my list probably by sun Sunday, by Sunday. Um, probably maybe Monday at the latest. So probably when I do the Merry Christmas, you know, post probably at the same time, I'll probably do the watch list. Cause like I said, I, I think I already have what I'm going to watch. I just really want to hundred percent make sure, as I said, in shield hero, I'll, I'll give you one that's solo leveling. That's the only one that I will initially give you for right now. Anything else you'll see when that post comes out on Monday, but until then I will see you guys all next time. Bye.